Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So, today we're going to be checking out one system from the user Jenny Tools in Discord and it's called the Calor system. Now this one's has a description, I've seen it already on the uh, workshop page. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see it, check it out. So where are we? So, uh, da -da -da -da. there it is, right. Let's see what we got. It looks quite large from the description so let's uh, see what we got. It's taking a while to load. Okay, it could be quite a big one. Oh, yes. Okay, right. Excellent. Right, so if we go all the way down to the star itself. So, Kalor, a warm K-type star, 2 billion years older than the sun. So, here he is. So, there it is. Good stats. A little smaller than the sun, mass radius-wise, by the looks of things. If we go into the sun, yeah, so 0 0.7 sun, mass radius. Luminosity, nowhere near as bright. So, there we are. Okay. First, onto the uh, closest of planets. So this is Tycho, a main, a molten uh, rocky planet orbiting too close to its star, slowly shredding up and vaporizing. It will form an asteroid belt or one color once it is done. So there we go. So yeah, very dangerously close there. Not looking good at all for that guy. Okay. Next up, we got uh, Vrasmos, a large high sea planet with temperatures twice that of boiling point. Oh, hang on. Well, oh, that's a fragment. Okay, there we go. Misclicked. Right. So here it is, okay. Uh, where are certain zones? Oh, where's the zones? Uh, oh no! Uh, I need to see the button. There it is, I need to drag that drag that back in. I don't know why that had done that. Okay, right. So, uh, oh, temperature is quite at a boiling point. However, the extreme pressure on the surface is enough to keep the water liquid. Huge swells exist on its surface, sometimes exceeding 500 meters high. Due to its moon orbiting close to it, although you might think there are only one there, you may not be. There may not be. Uh, you may not be. So there's a second moon chilling here. Is that a moon of a moon or? Okay. So we've got two smaller little guys. Two of the same name as well. Look at that. The good old generic Salby. Uh, name we've got Akam as well, another one of the common names, and then uh, we've got the larger moon there, and that is pretty close as you can see. Um, onto the planet itself first, have a little look underneath, and there you go. Okay, and there you are. So it's a very, very heavy ocean world, all protected at that high, uh, very, very high pressure. So there is that one, very interesting. Next up, we've got I can't, I'm not gonna even try and pronounce that one. Apologies, Phanasima. I said it anyway. <laughs> so here it is, right. So we've got a yellow Venus looking sort of uh, design. Okay. A scorching world for greenhouse rich atmosphere. The Venus of the system. Yeah. Cool. Right. So looking underneath. There you are. So we're obviously barren underneath. There you go. And then the moon. A large moon with a small sulfur monoxide seas. It also has a pink atmosphere. Rich in sulfur monoxide. So there you are. Okay. Cool. It's got a bit of ocean going with it as well. Nice. Okay. Next up. Eremos over here. Oh, um, a planet somewhat similar to Mars. Microbial life accidentally brought from exploration mission thrives on its planet. Liquid water lakes exist at its poles. Okay, so you can see some up there. And it looks like there must be some down there somewhere. I can't exactly make it out, but yeah, okay. So quite similar to Mars. It also has a moon. So quite a large asteroid sized moon there. Okay, cool. Right, next up we have got v information observer as well. So what is that all about? That's a probe. Uh, oh, it's the monolith item. It's that really reflected thing. So there you are. Okay. Uh, next up, yeah, we're down here. So, well, hang on. No, we at the wrong. We don't. We did this one, didn't we? Yeah, that's Scimitar. Okay, so we're going to Viro. Where's Viro? So is that down? Is it a binary or something? Yeah. Okay. So here is Viro. Right. A mostly terrestrial planet with small seas, these conditions produce vast plains of mud and moss. Okay, so it's got some maybe uh, areas for life to expand. So there you are, okay. Interesting. And that is in a binary with this guy, um, Eric Emos, A planet incredibly similar to Earth holds intelligent life similar to humans, has a thick atmosphere due to plate tectonics generated from the binary. Okay, got a south pole in a weird sort of shape as well, the way that is. Very, very bizarre. Okay, so there we are. Some, uh, some city lights uh, to rock with it as well. Looking good. Nice. Let's check its stats. Yeah, 95 and 64. Very, very nice indeed. It's also got a few little uh, moons uh, to go with it as well. Another explorer. One of those... Uh... Yeah, that's the weird arrival spacecraft item. There it is. Okay. Cool. 
Right, next up we have got ne Nezoi, a planet that was completely uninhabitable only 2 billion years ago. That was until a collision with a dwarf planet twice the mass of Pluto delivered chemicals found on early Earth. Life is developing rapidly. Okay, so here we are. Alright. Let's check it out. 10 degrees as well. Looking underneath. 94 to 60, so good stats there as well. Um, yeah, like I said, look underneath. There you go. Cool. Nice. It also has a moon here, Idel, as well. Very, very nice indeed. Okay. All right, next up we got uh, Prostapso. So that's over here. So we're taking a big jump out now to the next uh, next object out. So an icy super F that orbits in the opposite direction. It's a retrograde orbit around the star then, I believe. Right. Um... In comparison to other planets in the system, it also has a slightly different chemical composition compared to the other planets, which means it likely didn't form around the system. Yeah, that makes sense if it's a retrograde, I guess. Um, kind of like how Triton is around Neptune. Maybe this planet is a similar sort of case, but around the star instead. So, really cool. All right. Next up, a Super Jupiter Dactylid... I am very apologetic. Oh, very, very sorry for that. <laughs> Trying to say that. Um, so here it is. So a very dark, menacing Jupiter like world. So we see very large, 1.101 radius, way larger in mass, four times, which has the largest rings ever discovered. Its name means ring in Greek. Okay. And, uh, rings. Let's go to change our lighting mode. We'll go to enhanced. And there's your ring system. So, yeah, pretty big. There's also an asteroid belt we flew through as well. So, pretty cool. Right, before we move on now, there's also this object here. Is this just a comet? I'm guessing it is with that orbit. Okay. So, there's our big ring system. Right, next up we've got Pagos. A typical rather boring icy moon which probably has life. So, that is this one right here. So, there you go. Right, and lastly we've got uh, Prasinos, a mini Neptune which is completely green and rotates on its side as Uranus does. Right. So here you go. Right, tilted on its side exactly like Uranus. Yeah, nice. Looking good. Right, and that is all of the description for this system. So looking good. Very, very nice. Like I like the in-depth descriptions of each object. It adds so much more personality to a system when uh, you get reading like that. It's really, really cool. Uh, this was, yeah, two moons to go with it as well. So what do you guys think of that? Nice. Really, really cool. And uh, anything... Oh, there was one more. We have a hidden Sedna-like object at the very edges of the system. So as we can see, completely dark, dwarf planet. There's a good look of him there. So there you go. But if we line them all up, this is what we've got. So we've got Kalor. Bit of a gap there for some... Oh! Oh! What? Now that's something we've never seen before. Where is this from? Where's that come from? <laughs> Pigeon? Where? 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 I'm zooming in. Pigeon. <laughs> so where, where is that? Oh, where? Um, flashlight mode. Uh, voila. Zoom in. You can hear my scroll wheel, I think. We're zooming in. What the heck? Oh, blimmin'. Uh, right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, th that's quite far away. I mean, look. Light years, Milky Ways in size. Look, we're still in Milky Ways. Go zoom all the way. Look at this. Oh. So look, we we'll zoom out. So that's the system. 6 AU. Uh, 668 AU. Now we're in light years. One light year. All the way going. Okay, now we're in Milky Way sizes. Still going. Even more Milky Ways. So, yeah, we're getting ridiculously big. Until it starts getting ridiculous. Oh my god, that is absolutely bonkers. And we've still got to go even further out until we keep going. Whoa. -ho -ho. And there he is. So what? Oh, apologies if you can hear outside, guys. I do live near a bit of a road. <laughs> All right. Can't even see him. He's so far out. He's probably outside the universe at this distance. But 
There is a hidden pigeon. Oh! Oh, there he is. I guess it's all very, very glitchy at this distance, but there he is. So we're looking from his head. So there's a hidden corpse of a pigeon. I'd say corpse. A corpse of a pigeon in the vacuum of... What the heck? And that is a very, very long way away from anything in this system. So there you go. There's a little twist at the end of this system. The most strangest thing I've ever seen. I mean, what is that all about? So, and it's super size. It's larger than the gas giant. Where's our system gone? Oi. I can't even... Uh, uh, there he is. Go, go to the star, please. Uh, come on. Right, look, go that way. God, it's, my camera's all bugged up now. Uh, it's completely bugged the camera. Uh, camera. Right. Is that better? There you go. Okay, so pigeon. Look how long it takes for the pigeons to actually arrive here from that distance. <laughs> so that's come from a very long way away. And it's larger than the planets. So, what the heck? <laughs> so there is that. And actually, look at that cool ring. We didn't see that at the beginning, but that looks really cool. The fiery ring being close to the star from we'll see this object here. So, pretty cool. But yeah, there we are. So that does it for this system, guys. So that was the Kalor system. Got to say, very nice indeed. Really, really like that. So that was from the user Jenny Tools in Discord. So a massive thank you to them for sending in this system. But yeah, with that all said done, guys, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. Now I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.